a warm welcome this is electric energy generation utilization and conservation course with lecture 4.2 focusing on mechanics of train movement the mechanics of the train movement or the driving mechanism of, of electric locomotives uh, can be studied based upon the timings let us consider the five section of timings uh, in the speed time curve and let us study about the speed of the train with respect to each timing it will be giving the complete information about the motion of the train the curve gives the speed at various instants uh, after the start of run directly we can see that uh, there are five sections 0 to t1 t1 to t2 t2 to t3 t3 to t4 and finally t4 to t5 here we can see that the slope of the curve at any point will give the acceleration at the corresponding instant or speed the area covered by the curve that is the time axis and the coordinates through the instance between which the time is taken it will be representing the distance covered in the corresponding time interval because we know about the time the speed then finally we can find out the distance this will be representing the area there right so let us consider the speed time curve in two five different sections the initial section from 0 to t1 or 0 to a at t1 it refers to the constant acceleration period and the next period from t1 to t2 that is from point a to b it is the acceleration on a speed curve and next from b to c that's the timing t to t3 it is nothing but the free running period and the next step from T3 to T4, that is from C to D, it's a coasting period. And finally, T4 to T5 is a braking period. There are uh, several different types of services because uh, the traction or the train movement in um, at all population uh, based uh, variation of the city or suburban or urban or rural area may differ. So here we have three different types of electric traction services presently now. Uh, it is the urban service, suburban service and the mainline service. So we can see uh, the difference between the urban service. Uh, here the steepness is more and uh, almost we can say there is no free running period in this case. Uh, and uh, while you are considering the suburban case also, the steepness is not as much as that of the urban service. But adequate uh, steepness is present uh, in this case also. Uh, and the main line service, we can see that uh, the steepness is less. Uh, and also, there is a free running period between B and C. This is the type of service of open And let us consider what are all the speeds uh, which are referred uh, in this uh, electric uh, mechanism of uh, train movement. Uh, uh, we can consider the speeds like crest speed, average speed, and schedule speed. Crest speed is nothing but the maximum speed. The word crest itself means the maximum level. So it is a maximum speed attained by the train during the running condition. Average speed is nothing but the distance between the stoppings to adjacent stoppings. So you have to consider divided by the actual time of run will give you the average speed. Actually, in this condition, only running time is considered and not the stop time. Next is the schedule speed. Schedule speed is nothing but the distance between the stoppings uh, divided by actual time of run plus the stop speed. So the scheduled speed will give you the uh, total uh, speed which being considered for the entire run of a train from one place to the other. Two is nothing but the diameter of the motor finished already by FP and here. Divided by AC. Here we have sine theta is equal to BC divided by hypotenuse sine AC. So BC is nothing but the elevation and AC is the distance along the track. So it is a hundred percentage of sine theta, right? So hundred into sine theta is considered, and we are substituting that here. We'll be getting FG value finally. What we have to find is the total tractive effort required for the propulsion of the train. So here we are going to consider the FA value, FR value and FG value. So just write, um, substitute these values what we have already found out. We will find the tractive effort, total tractive effort.